So as you've seen from my little introduction, I have cleaned it all out. There's a lot of crap in there, so hopefully it's got rid of all the gunk and stuff that was blocking it all up. Um, cleaned all the faces up. A bit of pitting around there, but it's outside of the gasket areas. So let's get the engine back together. I have actually been through and measured everything up on the engine and it is really really tight still which is excellent I'm very surprised these holes don't line up perfectly Gems. Get that loaded up with a bit of lube. This is my 50 50 grease and oil mix. Make sure to get the shells in the right way around. With the lettering facing towards the oil pump side, which is that way around. Did that, that spun around. There we go, much better. So mains nice and tight and that's freely turning which is good all right next thing we do is get the camshaft back in we need to get some lube on the camshaft bearings if we can swing you around a bit so you can see a bit better what do you think of my filming eddie thanks mate from somebody who eats his own poo i, I appreciate that thanks mate I'm a dickhead and I'm a camera zoomed in, didn't I? Why did nobody tell me that? Oh, trying to drop lube everywhere. It's a really awkward one to get into. Let's just get everything covered in this stuff. Might as well. I'll drop a load of lube on the cams when I actually stick it all in and stick the cam buckets in. Oh, why do you go in? There we go. Better.
So the bridge in place on this one. Single hole to the front, which is that one there. And this can be a right royal paint to get in if I remember right. There's a tiny bit of thread lock on there just to stop them from coming undone. What's missing off of there? Nothing. Put the fucking gasket on, dickhead. Everybody knows you never go full retard. So I've got, as you can see, got all that nicely painted up and now covered in sticky fingerprints because I'm good like that. Bit more lube on there. Lift that up. Pop that underneath. Not lined up like so. Any bolts. Crap bolts there. If I was going to be really keen I'd have used a socket on this wouldn't I? But I haven't. And that spins freely. And get on to it. And get on there. Yeah. Coolio. Nice job. That and the timing chain. I hate these things. Well, you can see there, there's a little notch in there. And there's a little notch mark there. So that basically sits like that. On there, and the timing chain. Uh, we're going to see this. Pull you in a bit more. That mark on that tooth there should line up with the Woodruff key. He says. If we get that one to go around like that. At the moment, that is a tooth out. Lift it up again. Get it the tooth round. Tooth lined up with that. I think that's the best we're going to get. We'll do we'll put the bolts in. Before I go mental tightening everything up, I want to crank that round and see if the timing mark lines up again. I'll throw everything on the floor. That's 
180 degrees. That's 360. I think I might be out there. There's my ruler. Center line from there to there. Might be just a bit more. Let's try center lining that. That's better. I'm happy with that, I think. Yeah, we're there. We'll know when we to start the engine up when it bangs and splutters and coughs, won't we? So I'll get those bolts nipped up. Next piece to go in is the um, distributor shaft. Now it says put the large part of the D pointing towards number one cylinder with that set at five past seven. So I'm guessing that's the larger part of the D because that's an offset slot. This is glooping on there. This is just where I'm going to get messy. Right, so as I put that in, that is going to turn. Which way is that going to turn? That's going to turn that way. So if I go about, say 90, not far off 90 degrees, about there. One eternity later. So I'm, I'm not even going to try and get the camera in there to show you. Um, I've taken a photograph and I'll pop it up on the screen now. And what we'll do, we'll flick it over, hopefully without chucking the bloody pin up this side, dropping it out, and fit the oil pump end. So I'll give all the pistons a clean up, gap the rings and everything, they're all spot on, very happy with them. We'll get them put back together. So plenty of oil, some oil in there, and little ends, wrist pins, whatever you want to call them. I've deglazed the balls as well. Plenty of oil in there. You're wobbling around quite a bit. Right, they do say front on them, so that points towards the front. Right, 21 foot pounds, let's go. Right, that's all of them in place. Next job, oil pump, gasket, pump, pump that's full of my assembly lube anyway. And now we need to turn. 
turn the engine over to get that to engage. Something with me bar. There we go. some pump. Next bit to go on, the crankcase oil seal. Rub a bit of greaser on the inside of the seal. I've put all new ones on. It's just to help it go on a bit better. Job flywheel. No, I'm not lying. Back plate. Well, that's a clean up, just a de-rust. Just knocked up the clutch alignment tool. Get that flywheel side round. This is that way. That should sit in there like that. Lovely jubbly. The front gear cover Need to hold the tensioner in once I get it on, hopefully without knocking too much off. It's a really poor design, this to be honest with you. Can I get it? There we go, a couple of screws just to hold it in place while I get some nice new shiny fixings. So annoyingly my longest stainless bolts aren't long enough for those so I'm going to have to order some. I'm just using the originals at the minute. Very light smear of grease on that just to help it over the new oil seal. Just like that. And pull it all. Shiny stainless replacement. And go 29 foot pounds with that one. Get 
rag on that ring gear a little bit better. So my teeth are a bit sharp on it. Come on, click your bastard. There we go. So, thanks a bit water pump. I've already put the gasket on. A bit of sealant. Make sure we do get this the right way around. I'll remember which way around it goes. It goes that way. Like that. Annoyingly, I won't be able to get in and do the torque settings on this. Let me get the right size fixings. Back in a second. All right. I have to put a plain wash on one of them because we have alternator bracket that goes on no point putting a lock washer on because it won't lock up I can't even get my finger in Everything rotates properly, that's nice. Lovely jubbly. That's the front end done. So second time lucky. Anybody think I've done that before? Right, I'm talking up where I can, but the bottom ones I can't get to with the torque wrench. So they'll just have to go FT ish. Start motor on. So the final job I want to do on this is dropping the rod pots. Push rod pots, plenty of lube on. Get them in there. Going in the old one. What's going on here? Don't burn anything on that, is it? Hmm. It's random. You go in there. That goes in there. Right. A few minutes later. Right, this one had a teeny tiny little burr on it. That's why it wouldn't go in. I've just took the edge off on the lathe. Straight in. Beautiful. In all my excitement, I forgot to film the end of the video with my really crap filming and stuff in it. And as you can see, the dog's spinning me around in circles trying to get me knotted up in the lead. Anywho, uh, that's the bottom end rebuilt, gearbox fitted, all ready to go for the cylinder head to go back on once I've rebuilt that. So hopefully that'll be in the next video. If you managed to get this far, well done and thanks for watching.